Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Raven Silence, and this is the Joy of Resin with a very much chagrined episode. Um, I am an idiot. This, uh, the last, you know, for quite a while now, I have been uh, measuring my uh, my two part resin with uh, actual weight instead of uh, instead of going by volume, which is why I have ended up with so much more resin than hardener. Um, first rule of chemistry, volume and weight are not the same. Or that's, you know, I think actually the first rule of chemistry is safety first. But you get my point. Uh, so today I am going to be doing a quick video uh, where I take some measurements in volume and compare them in weight so that I can try to do a rough calculation of uh, how much one-to-one -one I really need because this is friggin' embarrassing. Uh, I've posted how many videos now? And I'm only just realizing this, so I'd like to once again thank my best friend who is uh, quite a bit more experienced in this field than I am for pointing out a place where I have uh, dropped the ball. So I have these tiny little measuring cups and I'm going to see what there is to see, you know, fuck around and find out. Pardon my French. So without further ado, Okay, starting with the hardener. Okay, 20 milliliters of hardener. milliliters of resin. Put them all together and what do you got? Okay. Shoot. of hardener weighs 19 grams. Sorry, 20 milliliters of resin weighs 19 grams. And then 20 milliliters of hardener weighs 16. So, what is that? Eight milliliters, 10 milliliters of weight, eight. Let's see, 
four fluid ounces in the hardener. 68. I really should have a notepad out here. Where's 20? 20 by 16. That's how much the uh, what does that say? Negative four? Okay. Uh, hold that thought. You know, I used to love math. I used to be really great at math, and now it's just I'm struggling here. So I'll be back. <laughs>